Welcome. Here you can see the data for the AVAV -AV reversal design, otherwise known as withdrawal. In sessions 1 to 4, you can see the baseline data, and in sessions 9 to 12, you can see the return to baseline, known as withdrawal data, which appears in the first and third phases of the graph. There is a space in the data set between the baseline and intervention phases. In this space, a third column labeled phase change is filled in with the maximum value for the y-axis. For this example, it is 100 because 100% 100 is the maximum a student can score. In sessions 5 to 8 and 13 to 16, you can see the intervention data graphed in the second and fourth phase. Now for how to create the graph itself. Select the columns, excluding the session data which will be used later. Go to Insert, find the Line Graph icon, and select the graph with markers. Delete the legend if it appeared. You can now see the four different lines, two from the baseline data and two from the intervention data. You can also see three data points which came from the phase shift column. These will become the phase shift lines. To do this, select the graph itself and go to Chart Design, then Add Chart Element. Find the option for Error Bars and go to the More Error Bars option. Select Series 3 as it corresponds to the phase shift column. To format the error bars correctly, double click one. In the menu that appears, select minus so that the lines only appear below the data point. Next, change the fixed value to 100, which is the ceiling for our data. This will set the correct length of the error bar lines. Finally, select the paint can option. Go to the dash type option to change the lines from solid to dashed. The phase shift lines are now the correct length. Now we must remove the marker from the phase shift lines themselves. Double click one of the markers itself to highlight them. In the menu that appears, select the paint can. Select the marker option. Under the marker options menu, select none to remove the markers from the phase shift lines. The phases are now formatted according to APA guidelines. To reformat the y-axis, double-click it on the graph. In the menu that appears, locate the Bounds section. Change the maximum value to 100, as 100% 100 is the highest possible score. Now that the y-axis is formatted correctly, we must do the same for the x-axis. Select the graph itself, right-click and choose the Select Data option. Locate the Horizontal Category Axis option. This is where we will use the session data that we left out earlier. Once it is selected, press Enter. Then press OK to save the changes. Now the correctly APA formatted x-axis does not include the phase lines as a session. Next we must change the data lines to black and white. Double click one of the baseline data lines. In the menu that appears, go to the paint can option. With the line menu opened, change the color to black. Now select the Marker menu. Under the Fill section, change the color to black. Under the Border section, again change the color to black. The Baseline and Withdrawal data lines are now black, as APA format requires. Complete the same steps for the Intervention data lines. The graph should be fully black and white. Now to add axis titles, select the graph and go to the chart design menu. Under the add chart elements option, add a primary horizontal and vertical axis title. The final step is to remove the grid lines. This can be done with the add chart element menu. Under the grid lines menu, deselect the primary major horizontal option. The graph is now completely formatted in accordance to APA guidelines. The last step is to label your graph. This can be seen on the graph from the beginning of this video. I hope this guide over creating withdrawal graphs using Excel was helpful. Thanks for watching.